Hello everyone. Today we are going to extract DNA from plant sources. Now DNA can be extracted from our blood as well, but now we are focusing on extracting DNA from plant sources. This can be done using any vegetable source. I am using here a tomato, but you can use peas or anything such as onion, etc. Now, for the first part, here we can see I have distilled water here, a little amount. I have extracted some tomato juice like this. I have this cut piece of tomato and I have used a very trivial way of dropping tomato juice like this. Now we are going to use a little bit of distilled water to make it a little dilute. So the solution is ready. Now what we will do is use dishwash liquid. Now we are going to use a little bit of dish dishwash liquid. Be careful not to use over much. I have taken the dishwash liquid. Now I will drop it slowly. Be careful while dropping this liquid because you don't want the liquid to be dropped along the sides of the test tube. So I have dropped the liquid, now stir it gently. Be careful not to over stir and create bubbles. So the solution is ready. Now in order to extract DNA, what we need to do is use ethanol. Here I have ethanol. Gently pour the ethanol along the sides of the test tubes. If we drop it abruptly, then there is a chance of the ethanol getting mixed with this solution. We don't want that. We want the lighter ethanol layer to float on top of this solution so that the DNA strands get extracted from this solution into the ethanol layer. Let's do it gently. The amount of ethanol used should be approximately equal to the amount of solution. Now we can already see, can you see these white bubbles floating up? These are basically the DNA strands which are coming up from this tomato layer into the lighter ethanol layer. If we allow it to settle it for some time, then you will see DNA strands getting accumulated on top of the ethanol layer. 